Palestinians and my grandfather was Palestinian and because the, it, it, because historically it is Palestine uh, so it's a statement it's not about being uh, it's a statement it's a statement of existence that we belong there especially when Israel is a Jewish state and we are not Jews so it's uh, it's an existent statement uh, part uh, but uh, we do live in Israel so we are Palestinians. So people will know we call ourselves Palestinians 48, but not everyone knows what we are talking about. So just so we can put the right definition, like we are Palestinians. Uh, and for people who doesn't know what 40 is, 48 is, we say we are Palestinians who carry the Israeli uh, citizenship. We are part of the struggle. We are part of the oppressed ones. Of course, I cannot, uh, on, on the daily life, I cannot compare my life to Gaza. I mean, I am here in Manchester and they, they can hardly leave from Gaza or, or people who live in the camps or what's happening today in Jerusalem. That's it's so divided even, it's, it's like you are, it's like the occupation is a truck and it hits you and most of the pain is here, but you still suffer here and here and here. Mm. So that's, that's the way I see it. But in the long term, there will be a Palestinian state. I don't know what are the borders. Um, uh, there will be a Palestinian state and there's, there will be a big issue about us who are living there. So I would say uh, on the daily life uh, as well, it's, it's hard to co disconnect us from the struggle. They just demolished seven houses uh, in Lid. They demolished Lid is an Israeli city and it have Arabs in it. Uh, and the natives and they demolished more than 300 houses because we built without permits and at the same time we are not in the program to apply for a permit so لا أول مرة بحيطة ترفخ إما أعلنت بفرح بكرة بن عمك جاي يطلق إذا بمسك قلبهم حياتها بقلب ببسطة في صورة فيها يمخد موقف مستصحي الصفحة بيدي تلسي الماضي ملطخ بدم وعيون تمح بس وعدكم من الجريمة للولادة وجوهم غاضبة كأنه خبروهم جريمة أجدكم بنا البداية can release 10 songs one of them is about the occupation and nine about sex and for the for the um, for the western press oh he talks about palestine so it's just you know it just makes you feel it's 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 sad in a way because it makes you feel that i now oh, i hope that the occupation won't end because i need my career occupation ends then what the fuck am i supposed to sing about because people don't see us as individual as, as, I mean, I listen to, 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 for example, just an example, you two are from Ireland, right? Yeah, I, I, what was the name of their song about the Sunday, Black Sunday? Black, Sunday, Bloody Sunday. Sunday, Bloody Sunday. I can, you know, it's an international song, you know, people in the US listen to it. I'm not talking about the new shitty uh, tracks that they, uh, I like it sometimes, but I connect to it even though I don't live in Ireland and I still like it, even when the, um, you know, uh, how come our songs are only, you know, about Palestine, but Palestine cannot be part of, cannot be something international at the same time. So, yes, we do talk about important things, but we talk about personal things. We talk about women rights. We Sometimes we talk about no message, just I have a sex song. I have, a, you know, going out. If, if I go to a club, for example, uh, that's a whole album because they won't let me in because I'm an Arab. So that's a song. Then someone will see, yo, that's, that's Tamar from them, let him in. So that's an ego song, look how successful I am. But I'm performing on, on, in a club that used to be my grandfather's land. That's another song. 
I'm trying to drink and have fun and dance. That's another song. I'm trying to have sex with Jewish women because Arab women don't have, cannot have, I'm not allowing them to have sex. So that's another song. So, so if I release an album on that night of the club, nobody will, you know, in the West, they will always talk about racism, it's, even if I have other opinions. Because for, for, for people in the West, I always need to carry a message. Messengers, the three messengers came from the Middle East. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, but in the bottom line, I do play uh, Western. Uh, I do I do use a Western type of music. I, I grew up on, on Tupac more, and I've listened to Eminem more than I've listened to Fairuz, for example. Mm -hmm. Fairuz is, is more of a symbol for me than uh, a daily life. 90% of my city friends listen to George Wasouf mostly and Fairuz and things like that. I, 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 when they used to know songs of Cousin Isser, I used to moonwalk. I used to listen to Michael, so it's just a matter of taste. And, you know. No, I'm not saying I don't. I, to my wedding, I had a traditional band because that's the mood, that's what I like, my tradition. But on the daily life, when I have the speakers, I would say 90% of my music is Western. Okay. And if it's Arabic music, then it's the new generation music, that it's a bit Western as well, in Arabic, but the languages. I, it's not, it's, but of course, of course you will find me listening to Rimbanna, to Amal Murkos, to Teres Sliman. I do listen to these things, but uh, if I would have a whole album by Tupac, for example, and a whole album by Vince Staples, for example, now, and I would have two songs of a Palestinian specific songs, but I would listen to a whole Western album. I, I can make a lecture and talk about these things, but it's not what make me, it's not what made me listen to it. It's not, oh, it sounds like Zajal. No, even if I was born in Sweden, I would love hip hop, you know, it's a matter of taste, you know. I, you can love something without analyzing it too much, because we, have, we, have, we all have a superficial, we all have a, a, a shallow part that if it's beautiful, then it's beautiful. And I don't have to say, oh, because it's, I don't have to explain it. I just like the way it sounds. Uh, that was the first love. You know, it just sounded good. Just the way he screams on the beat, he goes fast, then he goes slow, then there's a whole, sh the energy, it just sounds good. What is that type of music? I want to listen to that. Even before I knew what hip hop is, I memorized uh, the, the rap verse of uh, Heavy D in Jam. Uh, was it Heavy D in Jam with Michael Jackson? I think it was Heavy D. I memorized the uh, rap verse in Informer by Snow. I memorized the Fresh Prince, even be way before I knew what Sajal is or Palestinian music is. I was 14. So it's just clicked. But when I grew up, I searched for the lyrics, and it's like meeting somebody, someone beautiful, you know, not falling in love with the first, just being impressed by its beauty. But when you meet it and you see the person, when you meet her and you see that the personality is wow, deep and and authentic, so you just so when I when I when I started reading the lyrics, it's like wow, he's talking about the neighborhood. I have the same neighborhood. Oh, cops! Fuck the cops! I hate the cops. They hate. So here it makes here the reality work. But at the, the first sight was just sounded good. ترتيب التاريخ تامر تلسكوب تأمل تنين كتلغرافي تفادى لو تفكير تمرين تلا تعويد تلا تحريف تنحنى تتأدأ تتكون تتطور تتشكل لا تفع تجاه تعاسة تتدحدل تتأقلم لا تظهور تعبنا بتغني في التشجيع تفضلوا غير تقليدي لكن غير تقليد بكفي بالإذن اسمحوا لي بدي أربط آخر الأحرف وأنهي بس وأدق ارتباط بين الألف والباء أب